while we're thinking about snapping lines, I wanted to take a second to talk about just the techniques of how to snap lines. First thing to realize is that a well-supplied uh, chalk snapping tool is going to snap a line that blurs out a little bit like this. You're going to have some fuzz. Um, that's actually good because it means that you have enough chalk inside to lay your line and then you have the inevitable poof around it like this. Here's another example. It shows the lines being snapped and the uh, excess chalk kind of puffing around it. You gotta be careful. You don't want it to obscure what you're working on, but at least it's an indication that you've fully loaded up your chalk device with enough powder. That's the first thing I wanted to bring up is that when you're snapping lines, the idea is you want to reel back in that chalk every single snap and pull it back out. Reel it back in after another snap, reel it back out. And you're going to be using up a lot of uh, powder, so you need to refill it uh, more often than you might want. But the first technique that you got to realize is that you don't want to snap and then snap again. You want Every time you pull that snap, you want to reel that line back inside of the chalk, recoat that string with more powder, pull it back out fresh, snap a new line. When you're actually snapping your lines, you want to always use this three-point method, right? Where you've got one person holding it taut at one end, another person holding it down taut at the other end, and then lifting up in the middle, uh, probably about, I don't know, four inches or so, and then letting it go to make a snap. This is okay for short distances where you can actually reach out, you know, the few feet that your arms can span to snap that line. However, a technique that you might want to consider is using three people. If you're doing a long snap that might be 20, 30 feet long, one idea would be to have a third person get on that line and actually hold it down in the middle and then reach over and snap basically one half the line, then turn around, reach over and snap the other half of the line. That's just one idea to help maintain that tension that you need. If you have a super long line, you're losing tension, but if you hold it down in the middle, then you've got that length cut in half and the line is more taut and your line is probably going to snap uh, more clear. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.